Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna to talk about the best way to learn SketchUp. So uh, I am, of course, talking about our own SketchUp campus, which uh, there's a lot of ways to learn SketchUp. I would just be totally honest with you guys. And uh, this is gonna be a little different from our normal video. Normally we jump right in and start showing software, but I wanna kind of talk through the process of learning SketchUp real quick and then look at the tool that uh, we're talking about, which is SketchUp Campus, learn.sketchup.com. There's the, there's the short takeaway. If, if you're one of those people who clicks away after 30 videos, learn.sketchup.com, go there, and now you can, you can go. If you wanna hang out and find out why, let's do that. So there's, like I said, lots of ways to learn SketchUp. I mean, SketchUp, we, we talk about the intuitiveness and how easy it is to pick up, and that is absolutely true. Uh, SketchUp is a software you can teach yourself. You can you can go in, play around with it, get used to how the tools work, use the instructor in software, uh, check out a video or two online. Um, uh, opposite end of the coin, there's also some great instructors out there. There's some some individuals who make a business, make a living off of teaching SketchUp because they're really good at it. Uh, both ways work absolutely. I'm self-taught. I think most of the people on that you've seen on this channel originally started off teaching themselves. So it, there's definitely a thing to being self-taught. Uh, it, it is possible. You can do that with SketchUp. But I will admit to you, I'm going to get, let's get personal. When I taught myself SketchUp, I taught myself bad habits. I did not know how things were. I'll, I'll be totally transparent with you guys. I didn't know that you could use the eraser tool to soften and smooth geometry by holding down a modifier key. So the first time I created a dome using a follow me shape, uh, I broke it at some point and it became unsmoothed. I didn't know how to just use the eraser tool to smooth that back out again. I deleted the whole thing and redrew it. And I did that multiple times because I didn't know that was there. So fundamental learning like that is why it's so important to get a decent set of training right up front. And I will say the easiest, quickest way to do that is using SketchUp Campus, learn.sketchup.com. We have a course on there called The Fundamentals, and The Fundamentals will walk you through how to use SketchUp for desktop start to finish, like the beginning at nothing. I shouldn't say finish. Start to the end of step one. <laughs> so going with no knowledge of SketchUp whatsoever, it'll tell you exactly how to navigate, how to draw basic shapes, how to use the tools and what they should be used for, as well as like basic workflows. Even if you are self-taught, you go, oh yeah, I've been using SketchUp for like six, seven months now. I got it down. I've been, I've been, I've watched, I've watched you on YouTube right now, we're doing it now. That's awesome. I would still recommend setting aside part of a day and going through the fundamentals course. Again, like me, you don't wanna get into those bad habits or the lack of knowledge you had and have that become ingrained in how you use SketchUp. You can do it, absolutely. Go for it, free country, whatever, no problem. But to get the best out of SketchUp, learning to use those tools by being trained, you're gonna go further quicker than you are right now. Um, so, so even if you haven't, like I said, you're, you, oh, I consider myself intermediate, it might still be worth checking out. And the other thing about this is it's a free resource. If you go into learn.sketchup.com, you can sign in with your Trimble ID, the same Trimble ID you use to get into SketchUp, and you can just take the class. You don't have to pay anything. Even if you are, uh, you know, you, you, you want to get, you want to pay somebody to teach you, that's great. You might want to consider starting with this course first anyhow get the basics underneath your belt. That way, when you do have private training or other training that you're signing up for, you can start to tailor that and go more specific to the direction you want to go. When learning SketchUp, the fundamental, the base part is the same for everybody. Whether you use SketchUp to create buildings or to 3D print or to do landscape design or interior design, using the, the very fundamentals, the basics of how to use SketchUp is the same for everyone. And SketchUp Campus will give that to you. From there, you can go on and get additional training or come back to this YouTube channel right here right now and take more specific courses or classes that you want. So that's my pitch. Again, I, 
it's a free resource. I'm just saying that the difference in the people that I have seen using SketchUp who have gone through this first and then come in and, and ask questions on the forum or in comments versus the people who just jump in and the, the caliber of the models we see from them, totally, totally different. So it's, I just, I just want to let you know, cause it is so, there's such a big difference between it, between people who have taken this and who haven't. So let's hop in and take a look at what exactly SketchUp Campus is. So this, when I come into SketchUp Campus, I'm not logged in. I'm going to get a list of all these courses. I'll get a couple per page and then I have navigation. I'm going to go between them. Um, what I want to do first is if you're not already logged in, come in and click log in. When you log in, you're going to use, like I said, your Trimble ID and password, the same thing you use to get into the software. Just use that. It'll come in here. One of the nice things about doing that, you do have to log in before you can go into a class. But one of the things that's nice is once you do that, you can find a class you think you like. Let's take a look at this one. Ooh, I am interested in this. So I'm going to say enroll for free. What that's going to do then is put that into my list of courses that I want to take. So if I come in here, successfully enrolled. So if I come in here now and I go from all courses to my courses, my dashboard, I can see just the classes I was interested in. The nice thing about SketchUp Campus is you can do this piecemeal too. Not everybody has time to sit down and do a full course, full day. Maybe I dedicate an hour a day to this over the span of a week and it'll keep track of my progress. So you can see here, I have four courses on my dashboard. I have SketchUp Fundamentals, which I've completed 100%. Over here, I have Layout Essentials I'm 30% into, and then I have Commercial Interiors and Architectural Building from Reference, neither of which I've actually started. Once I get in and I start taking a course, every course is very similar. Uh, the process it goes through, the first thing I have is the ability to download uh, example files, and then I'll just start going through here one section at a time, watching the video and then modeling alongside. The best way to do this is if you have two court, two, uh, excuse me, if I have two monitors, I can take my, my course file, put it on one side, one monitor, and then follow along on SketchUp on the other. Otherwise, if that's not the case, you can, these are fairly short snippets, uh, the videos themselves, you can watch them and then alt tab between the two. Regardless of how you do this, how you go about, uh, I like I said, I recommend start with the fundamentals. Everybody should watch the fundamentals. It's great. Once you've gone through the fundamentals, you can start looking at some of these other ones where we get into some more specific uh, workflows specific to specific industries. So I have commercial interiors, landscape, that kind of thing. And you're just going to see more great training that's going to walk you through step by step. Once you actually complete it, you do get the option of getting a certificate. So I could take this, print it out, pin it up on the wall next to my monitor so my boss walks by and goes, wow, that Aaron, he really got certified. So it is a certificate of completion. It does say that you finished the course uh, and it looks good on the wall. What can I say? Uh, so that is kind of kind of my, again, I'm not trying to pitch this. I'm not saying, like I said, it's free. We don't charge for the course or anything like that, but I do highly recommend you take a look at it. I know we spend a lot of time here on YouTube making these uh, shorter videos that kind of give piecemeal learning, and it's great. It's a great way to learn. A lot of people can take that little short bit of learning, but I recommend more than anything, if you're going to use SketchUp professionally or you're going to dedicate time and energy to modeling in SketchUp, you start first thing coming up to learn.sketchup.com and take the fundamentals course. Uh, Trust me, it's going to be the best way to do it, and you're going to get the most out of SketchUp if you do that. That's it. I'm sorry. I know I, I talked a lot there, but uh, I've been training 3D software for over 20 years, I guess. Uh, it's been a long time, and I will say that this is this is really one of the best sources I've seen for learning how to model in 3D, uh, especially to a specific software, SketchUp, that I've ever ever come across. So. Um, and I'm not even in there. This isn't me talking about my work. You, you will not actually see me connected to any of these courses, but, uh, Tyson and Eric make these and they do an amazing job of it. Uh, and they don't even know I'm making this video, but, uh, yeah, check it out. Great way to learn it. Uh, if you like this video, click like down below. And if you 
don't already subscribe, please do. We create several videos each and every week. Most of them are more in SketchUp and showing how SketchUp works, but I just felt like I had to advocate for this because it is such a good resource. Uh, have you taken any classes on learn.sketchup.com? If so, leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought of it. And if you have an idea that you think would make a good course, let's hear about that too. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when it's showing something you want to see. Thank you.